me, Chris. How does that work? Give me some slack. Anyways, figured I'd make this video here because some of you guys have been asking about this here 1995 Chevrolet Impala SS and well, that's all you're here for. Not me, not Bert, not Angus, the Impala. So, this, this right here is my 1995 Chevrolet Impala SS. So it is, in fact, a 95. If you don't know what a 95 is versus a 96 or 94 is, well, 94, all black. The uh, the mirrors right here, a little different. They're on the doors and the uh, quarter glasses are pointed. Also, 94, you had a square dome light. 95 here, you got three color choices, dark cherry metallic, black, dark green, gray metallic. So what are we doing today in this video? Well, I'm going to give you a rundown of my 1995 Chevrolet Impala SS because I haven't done it in probably three years. So let's get to our going. As we start out with the outside, you may notice that, you know, I have the leaping deer on the fender. That is a 58, 59, 60 Impala leaping deer thing. You can put on, I guess the guys back in the 90s did that. So I thought it was cool. My first one had it. I did it. It did done used to be red and black and white and all sorts of colors. But as the years have gone on, it kind of faded out to chrome. And honestly, I kind of like the way the chrome looks a little bit better. Another thing I have that people delete, body side moldings. I like the body side moldings. They protect the doors from dents and they are, you know, still there. I do not have it on the rear quarters though. I just have it on the doors because that's where they are on this car. So as you can see also, I have limo tint all the way around because I don't know, car just looks pretty badass. Tinted out like that. So I have it tinted out. So when we get to the, the shoes of the beast, we're sitting on 255, 55, 17s. They are nittles. They are decent pattern. I like the tread pattern on the inside of them. And also I like the fact that I can rotate front to back, side to side, whatever else. Some guys get different sizes for rake, whatever, but I have mine, the stock size. Also as we get inside there, you'll notice, well, that ain't a stock rotor. It's because it's drilled and slotted. Got them off Rock Auto, put those on a couple years ago, and they are a pretty nice upgrade. Front and back, got the drilled slotted rotors, and they have been really nice, honestly, for the money. There's the, the back side. I think it was 200 bucks for the kit, 300 bucks, something like that, but well, well worth it. Continuing with the front here, you can see I don't have my stock headlights in there. I have these ones we put in there a couple years ago and the side markers. Something a little different. I don't know. I might change them out here. I don't know. They've had their run for two or three years now. Kind of thinking it might be time to switch them back. I did delete the lower air dam. It's somewhere, but, you know, it's gone. Get to the grill. Kind of one of my staples I always do with this color is I always paint the grill inserts a different color, usually a silver or some kind of an accent color to the dark cherry metallic just to give it that look, that stance. Driver's side over here, you can see the stance. We put lowering springs on it. Last year, supporting the Eibach sticker. But just the Eibach lowering kit, it's pretty decent. It works, gives it a good height from stock. Lower gravity's, you know, center of gravity, and, you know, it works out pretty well. But body side moldings, again, over here. As we get to the rear here, leaping deer, stock. Palace script on the side here, the raised, that is stock. Those are getting harder to find, to be honest with you. Tail lights. Trim ring on the back side is painted. It's not chrome like the Caprice. And we just have a stock bumper all the way through. Leaping Deer is 
you know, stock. Spoiler, stock. And that kind of wraps up the car. As we go through, back to the front, pop the power barn. Let's check that out. So nothing fancy. Under the hood, we just are rocking our stock LT1. Does it look stock? No. Is it dirtier than hell? Yep. Still haven't cleaned it. So we'll start. We deleted home plate and the elbow, first base, all that fun crap there. k and cold air intake. I have this cool Impala thing in there for the puck. And my fuel rail covers, instead of getting the Corvette covers like everyone does, I had those. Got those off Street Trends 2012. Uh, I also had a subscriber send me this Edelbrock intake, so we put on an Edelbrock intake on it. So other than that, headers, hooker headers, ceramic, all the way through, cat delete, both sides. Other than that, it's stock. It's just a stock LT1 that you would get. Still have the cast iron heads on it. Still all the original internals. Everything else on this car is stock. Cold air intake exhaust. I did have my PCM for less flash my computer, but that's it. I did upgrade to a cold case radiator, aluminum. Did a video on that. Kind of a pain in the rear to do, but that is in there but we're all stock otherwise. Should be known as that PCM for less when they tuned my computer. They gave me some firmer switch points, shift points, taking work stuff, switch points, shift points in the transmission. So it has a bit of a mm, kick to it, which is nice. I like it. It works out well. Out the rear end, I got rid of the stock 308s and I went with a 383 rear end. Detroit locker, whatnot. So, needless to say, the drive shaft needs to be upgraded if I ever do some serious upgrades. But the rear end should hold whatever power I end up throwing at this thing. But I got this thing up now on dollies, as you can see, because I got to move it over there and I got to get burnt here because. It's supposed to downpour like hell, and I'll pick up this video here in a day or so. We'll see you then. Well, it is the next day out here, and continuing on this video, let's go finish it up. Oh, bird in here from that rain we had. Well, this video is about this Impala. Impala is a. Uh, so now that we're inside of it, the upgrades that I've done in here are, well, LED lighting all the way around, really bright. That one burned out again. Got into my lower part down there under the dash. We did all the LEDs on the dash itself as well. Also, we went ahead and did them on our map lights. Other upgrades I did, made a video on this, put this tack in there, wired that right up to the ECU, PCU, computer. I'm a computer. And that works out really well. Lights up. Does its thing that it needs to do and then it actually works. Floor mat wise, I got these floor mats years ago from Street Trends. Something a little different. Got the front, had the Leaping Deer logo on them, and then the back match. You know, nothing special, but I figured I accented it a little different, something other than the gray. Because for whatever reason, my gray carpet mats were pretty rough shape. I don't know. But that's just it. Normal stock Impala, no, nothing really other than just, yeah, I guess. It's an Impala. I guess I did upgrade this a couple years ago. I don't really like it. Had to modify it just a little bit, but doubled in, got rid of the stock radio that was in here. All I had was a cassette, but yeah, it's got map and everything, but 
I do have another one I'm going to replace this here shortly. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. So if you like this, I've done a lot of work to this car on the channel. I'll put the link up in the description up here. I don't know. There'll be a card that pops up. And we'll show you all the playlist of this here beast. 1995 Chevrolet Impala. In there you'll find that tack that we did. The lowering kit. This front suspension. We did the brakes on it. A couple oil changes. Fixed the air conditioner. Cold case radiator. Oh, what else did we do to you? Oil pan gasket. Intake and take gasket trips on power tour yeah so check that out that's gonna do it for this one short sweet tour around my 1995 chevrolet impala ss if you like this one let me know maybe i'll do a walk around on burt Angus. i don't know see you next time